Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of August 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Libra, what's going on? <clears throat> The overall energy for the reading, the Empress. I feel like you're you're kind of doing good energetically. There's definitely a sense of self-empowerment on your side. There's definitely a sense of, yeah, I know, I know, I know what's up. I know what's going on with the energies, with me. Everything's fine. Everything's... Um, it feels like you feel good in your own skin and you know how to grab energies when they come at you. Now... Starting off the reading, you get the Page of Cups crossed by the Chariot. There's love coming your way, and it's kind of happening just like that. Ooh, ooh, there it is, you know? Um, I don't get that it's the love that you've been focusing on necessarily. I kind of see two energies of love at this time as this one steps in, um, which leaves you a little bit up in the air, kind of like, uh, what do I do? So your focus here, the Hierophant, um, that's where I get the sense that it's, you know, you, while you focus on something, something else shows up. Kind of with the same energy, so it's going to be a, a tricky one. Kind of bringing in the same energy, maybe less in intensity or more. There's definitely a little bit of a difference in how intense it feels, you know, compared to another one. That's, but one of them is here, while the other one is still here, but not really, kind of a thing. So it's like finding yourself in the middle of these two energies here in the recent past the king of swords uh that knowledge kind of um energy because i feel like you stepped into your power for a while now um so it's like basically just going about life in from a place of okay i know better now i've healed i've learned you know a sense of growth and a sense of knowledge you know actuality in your strength here the four of pentacles you're really hanging tight to something here like you don't want to let something go in the immediate future the knight of pentacles things are gonna head in one direction one way or another uh it looks like a slow kind of a grabbing of a direction like okay where are we going from here looks kind of slow in that department supporting this reading the nine of swords um a little bit of a stressful situation and it's kind of normal when you're dealing with because it feels like you're in the middle of these energies and it's like what do i do with them you know um hmm. in the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the part of indecisiveness the uh what do i do what do i do it's kind of creeping in on you um in your hopes and fears just hoping for a change for the better you know uh hoping that things will fall into place as they should and they will if you allow them to in the potential outcome you get love regardless so you know love is here regardless of if it's this one if it's that one if it's bigger if it's smaller if it's the love um let's see let's clarify let me clarify the Empress. <clears throat> seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups. Now, this is the tricky part, because yes, you're standing in your power, and from that place, you do allow for things to fall into place. But you have the tendency, just like all of us, because, you know, we're humans, um, you have the tendency to step away from that place and to start questioning those options that you're looking at, you know, uh, in the search for love, because that's ultimately the goal here by the looks of it. So instead of just kind of sitting in there in that energy that you acquired for yourself by healing, by growing, um, and just kind of allowing for 
things to fall into place, you start to, huh, let me see if I can manipulate these energies to work out in, you know, for the energies to work out in my favor, or let me see if I can control the situation so that it turns out like this, or let me, again, we're humans, we all do that, you have that tendency. I see you grabbing it at times and other times remembering, oh, hold on, I don't need to do that. You know, things are gonna work out if I allow them to. Okay, let's see the Page of Cups. <laughs> oh, Libra, you're killing me here. Um, the Magician, the Two of Cups, the, em the Empress. You manifested love. You called love your way. I'm guessing you were quite specific with the universe. Yeah, but I wanted to be that person. Because that's what we do. We manifest the energy of love. How it shows up, we kind of got to figure out when it comes, what's up with it. Um, but you called it, you called love in your life. And I, I get the feeling that it did show up, but you're tied up to something else that carries that love. Okay. I feel like the energy of love did come out from someplace else that you did not know you ordered that from the universe. You know? uh, let's do the chariot. Nine of swords, five of wands, five of cups. Ooh. As this shows up, man, and it's, it's, I mean, it's the standard, right? I haven't seen any exception uh, ever. I'm trying to really think hard on this one. Someone is manifesting something. That something is coming through. The minute it's coming through, this someone that manifested this looks at it and it's like, oh, what the hell is this? Let me run away from it because I don't, I don't even know what it is. I don't, I don't think I asked for this, so I'll just run from, from it. Because the energy comes, the shield that it's wearing, who the hell knows how that's going to look like or how that's going to, because that's what throws us off as humans, right? The cover, the what we can see, what we can touch, what, what we can feel, and down the list somewhere, whatever. Yeah, I feel something. I feel like it's something that I asked for, but not really, because I think the universe wouldn't send me this. No, feel and think. The feel and think war that's going on. Because, um, man, when this showed up, or when this is showing up, I don't even know if it did yet. It's going to bring out some uh, emotions here for you. Not the greatest ones. In terms of, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what just happened? Well, you manifested something here. That's what happened. Um, let's do the Hierophant in your focus. Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Again, you're connected in your heart from a soul perspective to something else. That carries the same energy of love, ironically. So your focus here is your own healing, you know, doing you, basically. Uh, and then this situation comes in, which, reminder, you manifested. Um, as this comes in and you're focused on possibly another direction, on another energy with another person, it leads you into a place of, what do I do now? That's where the confusion, I feel like, kind of set in because what we all forget is that we're we're manifesting energies we're not manifesting physical things or people and the universe sends us that energy when we're in tune with ourselves and i i see you being you know you're in you're wearing this empress uh, up your sleeve then it's it you know you're gonna manifest big time from there um so even though we're manifesting energy and energy is coming through, we're taking it as a human, as a physical experience rather than what it actually is. And that's why it's creating all of this. What the hell just happened? Okay, let's do the four of pentacles in your strength. The 
Justice card, the Judgment, the Page of Swords. You, uh, this is a good energy, actually. I haven't seen the Four of Cups attached to an energy like this in a very long time. Uh, you're not closing yourself off here completely. So you do understand partly that you did manifest energy and that you are manifesting energy in general. Um, so for this one in particular, I see you struggling a little bit, but still keeping yourself open in terms of your perception. Okay, did I call for this? Yes. Okay, what the hell do I do with it now? You know? So, kind of like 50-50, where one part of you understands that you manifested an energy and it came through, and the other part is the human part that's like, what? You know? Um, huh. Oh, Libra, you got yourself into a pickle with your own manifestation. I love it when that happens. Um... Not, I mean, it's probably not great for you at times, but I love it when that happens because it teaches us something quite important uh, a lot of the times. And I see you like 50-50, you're there, you know, where you already kind of got this, but now it's like, well, how do I deal with this? And that's the other 50, the, the human 50. Um, for the Knight of Pentacles, in the immediate future, you get the Queen of Cups, the Temperance, the Four of Wands. All right. Okay, good. I love this. You got this, Libra. You got this. You don't need me here. Um, you're letting things play off. You're opening up your heart and you're kind of let things unfold in the way that they're gonna. Which you don't have any control over. You don't know. You don't want to control. Uh, it's quite a beautiful energy. It's not happening right away. Oh, I got this. I know how to do this. But in time, it looks like, okay, let me keep my heart open. Let me see what happens. Let's take it one day at a time and see where things go. For right now, you're still showing up a little, you know, in that 50-50 state. As I said, the Two of Pentacles is in the hidden energy. Uh, let's do the Nine of Swords in the supportive energies. The Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Fool. Interesting. And I love how you're hanging on to these energies of, I know who I am, and I know that I've healed a lot, I've grown a lot, and I, ha I had to acquire some kind of knowledge and some kind of, let me deal with this um, kind of an energy, which you, you did. You, you did, and you are listening to the inner Libra rather than the human one. Um, a lot more, at least lately, and <laughs> you're in the 50-50 a lot right now, the, the inner Libra and the outer Libra, we'll call that 50 and 50 for the outer, um, the inner tells you to surrender to whatever's going on, to just kind of let it flow and see what happens, the outer is stressed out about that, like how can I do that, I can't do that, um, the outer is the mind. That's what's keeping you a little bit of a prisoner of, you know, yourself here. Uh, the inner is kind of opening up the door to freedom. It's a matter of which one do you choose at, at the end of the day, you know? Let's do the two of pentacles. Ten of Swords, the Chariot, the Emperor. You feel something tied up to this new energy that's showing up for you. You feel something tied up to the old one, uh, but you feel something quite strong coming in. Because it's present, it's here. Um, it's giving. You're giving to it energetically, at least physically, you're a little bit in, at that edge of the 50 50 still. Uh, but you feel something big with this one, and it's big because you called it in, you manifested it, you asked for it, and that's why it's showing up as big, and that's why you're feeling something tied up to this. It's not random, whatever this is. Well, let's do the wheel of fortune in your hopes and fears. 
You get the Wheel of Fortune again, the Strength card, the King of Cups. You're kind of trying to... Again, I see you slowly but surely opening up from your heart and allowing for things to unfold in the way that they're meant to be. But I kind of get the sense for this energy also that you're... Um, this is not even hope. This is knowledge almost. But you're going to allow yourself to see what matches you in the best way for this time at least. Um, oh man, I'm dealing with human Libra here and inner Libra. Outer Libra and inner Libra. Um, and the, in all honesty, the inner one is winning by the looks of it, which I love. Um, the outer one is a little stressed out about the situation, but the inner one is kind of taken over and it's like, you know what? Just let it be and let's see what happens. Let's huh. so the two of cups. For the potential outcome, I did not expect that ending. You kind of slammed me in the face there after I, you know, soaked into this reading and I was like, yay! Uh, for the Two of Cups and the potential outcome, you get the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Devil. Fear is gonna creep in. The minute you step into that place of following your heart, your heart becomes completely open and vulnerable. Remember, we're not used to sustain that energy for too long unless we practice, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of see you falling in that trap of, okay, this is becoming a little uncomfortable. It's a little too much. It's something I'm not used to. Let me go back to my old ways. Let me disconnect from how I feel. And that in itself is going to say no to love, ultimately. The devil is there, which is show me. That's a pattern. That's something you've done before. That's something, you know, kind of a human nature. We're not used to sustaining our hearts open. Uh, so that comes in more like a warning. Yes, it is an available energy, but we can change energies, you know, anytime we want. It, we do have free will. So I wish for you to change this energy. Uh, but just so you know, more like a little heads up. This energy is going to come through of pulling you back into disconnecting from how you feel in this whole situation. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. The Outer Libra, that's what the universe has. Also, pain is going to try to prevent you to open up to this. Uh, the pain that you've carried from previous situations, from the situation you're still kind of energetically tied up to. Uh, there's some pain that needs healing. <clears throat> and I feel like you're aware of it and I feel like you've been healing it for a while. Um... It's kind of in the same lines of this energy that's preventing you from keeping it open. Um, and it's just going back to your old ways, just disconnecting from how you truly feel, not allowing for things to develop in the way that they want to. Um, it's just kind of getting a false sense of control over it. Like this one, you can't control. You just allow it. From this space of the mind, you think you can control things, which is a false belief, but you still think that. But that place comes from pain in the heart here that needs healing. As long as this is healing, this is more, you know, not wanting control over things. So it's really up to you. It's a battle between, again, inner Libra and outer Libra. Um, Let's see a final card from the Sacred Traveler. Let's check out some final words. Begin now. Take your first step. That's it. That's what I have for you. Uh, hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.